Hello everyone, in this video we'll be installing an exciting new gaming OS on our desktop PC. Bazite is based on popular version of Linux and the best part is that it allows you to play not only Steam games but also sideload non-Steam games. Inspired by Steam OS, it features the Genome desktop environment from Fedora. Beyond running PC games, it's also capable of handling Android apps and games. Before we dive into the installation process, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Minimum system requirements for installing Bazite OS on a desktop PC are quite straightforward. You don't need a high-end gaming PC or laptop to install it. However, for gaming, there are some limitations regarding the supported graphics card. In this case, we are installing Bazite OS on a AMD Ryzen 8000 CPU. When downloading from the Bazite website, you'll need to specify your hardware type. In our case, it's a desktop PC, so we select desktop. Next. Choose the vendor of your primary GPU. For this tutorial, we'll select AMD. After that, pick the KDE like Steam OS option from the drop down list. Finally, set Steam Gaming Mood to Yes. And click on Download Bazite Tech. This will download a pre configured ISO file. Now we'll download Rufus from its official website to burn the ISO onto a USB flash drive. In Rufus, select the ISO file you just downloaded and leave all the settings at their default. No adjustments are needed here. Once ready, click Start. And when prompted, select Write DD Image Mode. After Rufus finishes creating the bootable USB, restart your computer. Repeatedly press the F11 key or the key for your system's boot menu. From there, choose your USB drive to boot from it. When the grub boot loader appears, select Install Bazite Deck to begin the setup process. Once we're in the Bazite installation program, start by selecting your preferred language and then choosing the installation destination. You can opt for an upgrade path by leaving the storage configuration set to automatic, but since we're performing a dual boot installation, we'll select our spare Samsung SSD and choose custom. Press done to proceed to the partitioning menu. In the partitioning menu, expand the unknown section, which corresponds to previous NTFS partition. Click the minus icon and select delete to remove the old NTFS partition. Next, click here to create them automatically. This will generate all the necessary partitions for the Bazite tech installation. Review the changes, then click done and confirm by selecting Accept Changes. The final step in the Bazite setup is to create a user account and password. For this tutorial, we'll skip setting a password and select Begin Installation to start the process. The installation should take about 10 to 20 minutes, depending on your system. Once it's complete, Select Reboot System and on the Boot menu, choose Continue to Boot. On the first startup, Bazite Tech will automatically download and install Steam. When setting up Bazite Deck for the first time, you'll need to select your preferred language, set your time zone, and connect to your Wi-Fi or Ethernet. After that, the system will install updates one final time. And there you have it, Bazite Deck is fully installed. 
you can log in to your Steam account and start gaming right away. Alternatively, go to the Steam menu, select Switch to Desktop from the Power menu and you'll be taken to the Genome Desktop environment from Fedora, which is essentially a Linux operating system. All of my hardware drivers were detected and installed correctly because I selected the right specifications before downloading the ISO, so be sure to follow all these steps carefully. The free space on our 250GB SSD is more than enough for the next video. Coming up, we'll compare gaming performance of Windows and B-Side Deck. Stick around, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.